And welcome back, I hope you've all been doing well. In today's video, we're going to showcase a handful of Steam Deck themes for your Steam Deck user interface. And in order to do this, in order to configure your Steam Deck and to use different themes to customize it, you are going to have to have a couple of plugins installed. First, you need Decky Loader, and you're going to need CSS Loader and Audio Loader. Now, I have a video in the Steam Deck playlist walking you through the installation of both Decky Loader and CSS Loader. So I'm not going to cover that here, but for Audio Loader, once you have Decky Loader installed, you're going to go to the Decky Loader shop. And the Audio Loader is the second option under Animation Changer. So go ahead and get that installed after you complete the installation of Decky Loader and CSS Loader. And that will begin your journey of customization. All right, so I have three themes that I want to showcase. I'm going to go through them individually here and tell you what you're going to need installed and how to get that theme up and going. So the first theme is the Pip-Boy theme. So for Pip-Boy, we are going to need to install a couple of plugins. So you're going to go to your CS loader or CSS loader and go to the shop. And we're, we are going to need the Pip-Boy theme which I'm not sure if it's going to show up. Uh, load more. And go down to the P's. There it is, okay, so you want to install the Pip-Boy theme. And once you have the Pip-Boy theme installed, we're gonna go back to Decky Loader and you want to go down to your audio loader. And you're going to be set on default but we're gonna change that, so you wanna go down to Manage Packets, or Manage Packs, I should say. And now you have a selection of different audio plugins that you can pick from. So what we want is the Pip-Boy Sounds. And let's see, Persona, I don't see Pip-Boy yet. Actually, a faster way to do this might just be to use a search. Actually, let's go to Alphabetical A to Z, and then we'll type in Pip. IP and there we go so you want to install this I already have it installed so I'm not going to install it again but you have your Pip-Boy sounds now we can go back to our CSS loader and let's go down to actually I'm sorry let me back up since we're already uh, hold on all right let's go down to our CSS loader and then we want to go down to the Pip-Boy theme, go ahead and turn it on, and let's go ahead and take a look and see how that looks. So we'll go to our home, and I have Hardcore turned on now, but this is what the Hardcore version of the Pip-Boy theme looks like. I'm not a huge fan of it, I mean it looks okay, but everyone's taste is different. So I'm going to go down to the settings for the Pip-Boy theme, and I'm going to turn off Pip, our Hardcore Pip, and then we'll take a look at that. So you can see our, our menus are, are changed to match the theme. Let's go to home. And there we go. So there's our Pip-Boy theme. Looks pretty good. Uh, but we do want to go back up to our Decky Loader. Oops, went a little too far. And go down to our Audio Loader. Now that we've installed the Pip-Boy sounds we can go to our packs and select pit boy sounds fallout 3 new vegas so that'll be our sound effects as you can hear take a look at our library so pit boy looks pretty good not my favorite let's take a look at the hardcore again and see how that looks with the library so we'll go back to our cs loader And go down to Pip Boy, go to the settings for Pip Boy, turn on the Hardcore PIP or Hardcore Pip. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, it's okay. Again, everyone's taste is different. All right, so let me go back to CS Loader. We're gonna turn off Pip Boy. And we're going to turn off our sound or I should say, set the sound back to default. All right, so now we're back in the default UI. 
And our next theme is going to be the Persona theme, which I showcased in the Decky Loader and CSS Loader installation guide. But there's a few little modifications to this. So we're going to go to CS Loader and I already have it. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to the store and we can go ahead and type in Persona. Actually, it's called Phantom. And there it is. So we'll go ahead and install the Phantom theme right here. So we'll come back out of this. Let's go back into our Decky Loader. And for the Audio Loader, instead of default, we're going to want the... Uh, where did it go? Persona 5. Okay, so we're going to go down to the Manage Packs and go down to where we had typed in PIP in our original search. And let's go ahead and type in Persona. See if that works. I yep. guess we need a few more letters. There it is. Persona 5. Now, of course, you can use Persona 4, Persona 3, whichever you want. I'm personally using Persona 5. I already have it installed. I'm just showing you where it's at. Go back out of this. Go back into our CSS loader. And go down to Phantom. We'll turn the Phantom on. And we're going to need the Switch Like Home and the Gradient UI as well. So we're going to go back to our CS loader. We're going to go to the shop. And in our search, we are going to install the Switch. Switch Like Home. So here it is. And we're going to need Gradient UI. So we'll go back to our search, clear this out, and Gradient UI. And let's throw an A in there to... There it is. Okay, so... So here's Gradient UI. We're going to need this as well. And we already have our sound effects installed, so we can go back to our... CSS loader, we want to turn on gradient UI and you want to go down to the settings, the options. And I'm using OLED black. You can use any color you like. You can open it up and there's an, a variety of different colors to pick from. I think the OLED black looks the best, so I'm using that. As you can see, it's already in, it's already running. So let's take a look at the Steam menu. Over here, the black with the red highlight, It's I think it looks really good. Okay, so now we need to turn on the switch like home. So it's going to be down here in the S's. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Oh, it's already on. All right, so let's go take a look at the home. Home screen. So here we go. I think it looks pretty good. And we did not turn on the sound, did we? So let's go down to audio loader. Default, let's choose Persona 5. Back out to the main screen. I think it looks pretty sharp, actually. Check out the library real quick. Looks pretty good. I really like this. All right, so we'll go back home real quick, and then we're going to do the final theme. Sort of a custom theme, really. Let's go back into our CSS loader and turn everything off. Do a quick refresh. All right, so now we're back in the default UI for our Steam Deck. And for the final theme, we are going to need a few more plugins. So let's go back to our CSS loader, let's go back to the shop. The first one we're going to need is round. So let's go to our search and let's type in round. Let's throw an N in there to shorten up the search, and there it is. So you want to go ahead and install round, and we're going to need to install tilted home. So let's go back to our search, clear that out, let's type in tilted. And there it is, tilted home. So we'll install tilted home as well.
again, I already had these installed. That's why I'm not installing them for you during this. And we already have Switch Home installed, or the Switch Like Home installed. So we need our sound effects. And for that, I'm going with the Dark Souls sounds. I think it sounds really, really good. So we're going to our audio loader, Persona 5. I already have Dark Souls uh, 1 SF, SFX installed, sound effects. So for you, we'll go down to pack or manage packs, and we'll come down to our search. And let's type in Dark Souls. And there it is. So to kind of showcase this a little bit, some of the sound effects, um, uh, let's go ahead and cl clear that out. Alphabetical A to Z, we're already set there. So you can see there's just an Animal Crossing, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, uh, Cold, Cave Story, Crash Bandicoot, Cuphead, Darkest Dungeon, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Fire Emblem Awakening. There's a just a ton of different sound effects that you can uh, download and install and use. Gran Turismo. All right, so let's go back to our audio loader and let's change it to Dark Souls 1 sound effects. Back out of this, let's go down to our CS loader. And for this theme, let's go down to our round since we have the round plugin installed. Turn it on and go to our settings. I have mine cranked up to the max. For this particular theme, you can uh, adjust the intensity however you want. And we have uh, we have options. You have round, square, hidden. Uh, I think the round looks really good. And we need to turn on our switch like home. And we need to turn on tilted home. Now for the tilted home, go down to the settings. And the angle, I have mine set to negative 10. And I'm using the 3D method. I like opposite looks pretty good as well. But I think, in my opinion, my personal taste, 3D looks the best. And we need to turn on our gradient color again. Our gradient deck UI. Turn it on. And I'm going to leave it at... OLED black. Okay, so let's take a look and see how this came out. In our home. I think it looks pretty good. And we need to install one more plugin I forgot to mention while we were in our CSS shop. And so let's go back to our CSS shop. And we need to install, I can't read my own handwriting, uh, darker something games. I'll learn to write one of these days. So let's just type in darker, it'll pop up. And there it is, darker unfocused games. So we want to install that. I already have it installed again. So once that's installed, go back to our CSS loader and go to darker unfocused games, turn it on. You can come down to the settings. I have my brightness turned down to 0.3 and my saturation turned up to 0.7, but you can adjust that however you, however you like. You can apply it globally to recent only. Um, I have mine set to globally. And let's go ahead and take a look at our home screen now. So you can see it darkens out the surrounding games and only the game that is selected is highlighted. Okay, so let's take a look at the library real quick. Some of you might think that's a bit too dark. Again, personal preference. I kind of like the way it looks. I like how it really highlights each individual game that I select or that I scroll over. Make it look sharp. All right, so I'm gonna do a quick run through of each theme without saying anything, just kind of letting it go to a little bit of music in the background. And I thank you all for watching. Next video is coming out as promised is the next episode of our Steam Library playthrough. Tomorrow is Sunday Siege. That'll be up in hopefully by tomorrow afternoon. And the 2024 install of Pop! OS, which I'm working on creating a bash script to do the installs of my more commonly used programs. And that's something that you can keep on a thumbstick for future installations as well. It just makes the process of installing software much easier and applications. All right, so again, thank you all for watching. Uh, please leave a like if this inspired you to be, get creative with your Steam Deck UI and leave a comment below on what your theme looks like.
and what plugins you're using. So stay safe and have a good one, and I hope to see you in the next video.